what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we just finished checking out smackdown the first half of the wwe draft and uh yeah i'm kind of confused on some things I'm not gonna lie to you definitely confused on certain draft decisions um but uh first before we get into that i want to talk about obviously the bloodline situation so i i wanted to kind of get this out first before we get into the whole draft um so the first pick in the draft actually was roman reigns solo sokoa and paul Heyman. they were the first pick in the draft not the usos and that was very telling and then we cut to the back or whatnot well the the usos and uh kevin owens and Sami Zayn cut a promo uh on the on the rampway area entrance area to the uh to the ring and then we cut to the back and paul Heyman's giving them this raw raw rousing speech like you know they're gonna they're gonna win and you know be back on the island of relevancy or whatnot and you see that paul is looking at solo he gave solo the wrist tape for his thumb and you see like you know like he's talking as if he's talking to the usos but he's really looking at solo like you know what you got to do so they have their match later on in the show fantastic match um obviously it's not wasn't as good as a wrestlemania match but it was a good television match uh for the titles and uh as expected sorry that my screen's glitching out don't know why granted <laughs> the super kicks were getting a lot <laughs> uh kind of you know kind of much kind of like what they did at their match at, uh at wrestlemania this year but nevertheless the crowd was into it they were loving it and midway through the match there's a screen and screen where paul Heyman gets a call from roman tells solo to do what he has to do so solo comes out there and then he gets attacked by matt riddle all the way into the back again or whatnot so matt riddle kind of runs interference uh to stop solo from whatever he was about to do because it looked like they were setting up that maybe solo was gonna turn on on the uh on the usos potentially i don't know but either way that didn't happen and ultimately as we a lot of us expected obviously um Sammy and Kevin Owens, they retain. It only makes sense. And you can see the look of disappointment on Jimmy and Jay's face. Like, because they were talking a whole big game. Like, tonight's the night we're going to make the Tribal Chief proud. We dedicate this match to him. And they lost. So that's really what I'm really intrigued on. What's going to happen? Are they going to go to Monday Night Raw? Will they still be on SmackDown? But now will they be outcasted by Roman? You know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and how that plays out. So I'm looking forward to seeing that story play out. But we're here to talk about the draft, specifically the first and second pick. Number one, it made sense. Solo, Roman, Paul going to SmackDown. That made sense. You know what I'm saying? There, it's a storyline within that draft pick alone with the Usos not being a part of Roman, Solo, and and paul Heyman going to smackdown so that makes sense i get it they're doing raw smackdown back and forth but cody going to raw confused me and here's the reason why because i'm thinking okay if we're supposed to continue the story if we're supposed to finish the story that is roman finally losing to cody or or cody in his sense and for his perspective winning the championship his father wasn't able to win winning the wwe championship in the process righting the wrongs at what happened at wrestlemania overcoming the odds overcoming adversity whatever whatever if we're supposed to finish that story how do we get to the story being finished if cody's not on the same show that's just my my take on it because it is starting to look like i reported earlier that the rumors are cody and roman at wrestlemania 40 it's starting to look like maybe they do they are gonna do that and separate them and cody's gonna go on this journey hell he may even go for the world heavyweight championship and lose he may be in, I'm, I'm sure cody's gonna be involved in that damn tournament i honestly think that's what they're gonna do 
I think it well if that's the case, I don't even know if he's gonna win against Bobby uh against Brock Lesnar. I I'm there's so many things that I'm concerned with because of how they could book this. If they're going with this adversity route, Cody losing losing maybe to Brock. Maybe I'm sure he's gonna be in that that tournament for the world heavyweight championship and him potentially losing that too, because I can see them putting it on Seth or somebody else. But most likely, I can definitely see them putting it on Seth. So, what? Maybe, what, he beats Brock Lesnar but loses in a tournament? Or he loses he loses to Brock Lesnar and then wins in the tournament or loses in the tournament for the title and lose to Brock Lesnar? I don't know. We don't know. We don't know how far of adversity they want to take down, uh, take Cody Rhodes to. So, I don't know. I hope that's not even the case honestly i don't even want cody to even win it because it's it's gonna come off like a consolation prize it is so i can see him maybe being in a tournament and still losing and that part be part of his adversity thing someone that mentioned oh maybe he wins money in the bank i think that should be reserved for someone else like an la knight i would prefer that or someone fresh or someone newer you know what i'm saying so i don't know what you do this to me was very confusing because I don't if you're if the goal is to keep them away from each other for a while to have them go back at it again at some point is people gonna care that's what it comes down to so I don't know I am truly confused on what's going on here me personally I just feel like we literally started on this journey of Cody's redemption well Cody's story and trying to overcome the odds and it got derailed at WrestleMania. And then it's continuously getting derailed <laughs> to the point where now we don't even know what Cody's story is going to be about now. Right now, he has to focus on beating Brock. All right. After he gets done with Brock, then what? What do you do? Now he goes for the World Heavyweight Championship. He enters in that tournament. I, if he wins, it's going to look like a token championship they gave to him. Because he couldn't beat Roman. Here's the consolation prize. If he loses, then where do we go? I don't know, man. This just is it's a weird decision. I get it. Cody's your 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 top baby face. So yeah, you want to draft him at number two. I understand. I I completely get that. But at the same time, from a story standpoint, it would have made sense if he maybe was the I mean, you know what I'm saying? You could have did Bianca as the number two draft or whatever. You could have did somebody else, but I get why they did that. Because he's the, he's technically, if you want to think about it, he's like the, he's the top baby face. So he would be like the number two guy under Roman in a sense, if you wanted to do that. I don't know. Um, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you still, you could have found a way for him to be like the third pick and have him go to SmackDown or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Um, it's just it's very confusing and then what's gonna happen with roman who's roman gonna face on the smackdown side of things i i think someone had said that bobby lashley had tweeted roman reigns uh let me actually go check this right now to see if that's true because i don't want to put something out there and that what and that's not true hold on because i know he's on smackdown now Let's see. I'm checking right now to see. Did he tweet? It's been a minute. Oh. Yeah. He tweeted at Roman Reigns. It's been a minute. That would be that would be an interesting matchup. Is Bobby Lashley going to defeat Roman Reigns? No. But I think that would be a fun matchup. They they actually haven't fought, so I can see. Maybe Vince setting that up. Vince and Triple H setting that up. But at the end of the day, it's it's just going to be another person for Roman to beat. So it could be an interesting for you. We'll see what they do with that. But honestly, not going to lie to you, bro. Not going to lie to you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with Cody. Cody's story may have come to an end. I don't know. Or it may be on pause until fucking next year's WrestleMania. So let me know how y'all feel about Cody Rhodes not being on the brand 
uh, on not being on the SmackDown brand. Some people are saying, well, maybe he can get traded to SmackDown. And that's a possibility because the draft is going to continue on through the week through the weekend. So maybe Cody does end up on SmackDown. We will have to wait to see. We'll see how it all plays out. But let me know if you guys are okay with Cody being on Raw. And are you guys okay if that's if it's a permanent thing for him to go for the World Heavyweight Championship and not finish the story that he started? You know, going for Roman. I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about all of this. Also, let me know. Where y'all think the story is going to go next with the bloodline? Now that the Usos lost, once again, what's going to happen? How are they going to start treating them? Will they even be on Raw or SmackDown? What's going to happen with them? Where y'all think they're going to go? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on Channel Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am the undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. All right, I had to put that out there. Woo!